hello you beautiful people how's it going i hope you're all doing really really well um today i thought it would come on and just show you all what we have got fox for his birthday fox if you don't know is not some feral animal in the garden it is my little boy he is one he is two next week so this is his second birthday presents and I have done these videos previously for my other children, my little girls, to show what we've bought them. Um, I love watching these videos and I watched a few. I'll try and link the ones that I watched down below. Um, just because I was really struggling because he has a lot of stuff. He um, obviously has all of his sister's old toys and then he has his own toys. And it's a bit like, well, what do you get? What do you buy a two-year-old? Like, And he... He loves like trucks and cars and you'll see there's a bit of a theme. He loves anything with wheels, but then he also loves like babies and dolls and puzzles, puzzles he absolutely loves, and um, Paw Patrol and Dougie. So I thought I would just come on and show you what we've got him. Um, I think we spent about just over a hundred pounds. Um, I will put it here, I'll add it all up, I'll find my receipts and I'll put it here, exactly how much we spent. But I got some stuff really cheap on offer, so that was really good. Um, but yeah, I started buying maybe a month or two ago, probably two months ago. I do have all three of my children's birthdays in the next, or like between the 26th of August is Fox, Mika's is the 8th of September, and then Aria is the 10th of October. I also got Ben in there as well. Um, so we have all the birthdays, and then we have mine, and then Christmas. So I try and get as much planned as I can. Like this cupboard up here is already full of stuff for the girls' birthdays. Um, it has to be the highest cupboard because they can get onto short chairs and they can reach all these cupboards now so it has to be my highest cupboard um but yeah if you like these videos please do give this one a big thumbs up you should definitely subscribe to my channel for more fun stuff to come i've got a giveaway running at the moment for my 10,000 subscriber giveaway i'll link that i would love it if you got involved um but yeah without further ado i'll show you what we've got him so the first thing we've got him is one of these and it is like a play mat and it's a Paw Patrol themed play mat. And it's like a foam one. Um, we were going to get him. The girls used to have, like years ago, the girls had um, like the traditional one. That's like um, sort of with roads and stuff on it. But that's like a fairy carpet one. And that is, from experience, a nightmare to get shit off. Um, like literal shit. <laughs> so this one is, looks wipe clean. So we've gone for this one. And then you get two Paw Patrol characters as well you've got chase and marshall and um, it's quite big this is going to go in his bedroom this is 61 inches by 47 inches which is 155 centimeters by 120 centimeters i don't know what that means because i do feet in inches um i need the inches to be in feet and inches not just inches because i have no concept like maybe four feet because i'm like just over five foot i don't know uh but yeah so this is his first thing he will love this this is going to go in his bedroom and yeah he will absolutely love that i know for a fact he is gonna be very excited for that um the next thing we've got um he loves building stuff like duplo um and he has loads and loads of his sister's duplo from because they still play with it as well um not so much the older one but the middle one still loves duplo so we got him a rocket because he loves rockets um i think i got this for like 14 pounds in the sale um so that's really snazzy he's gonna um love playing that he picks up anything he can pick up like literally he'll pick up his monitor and be like meow 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 because he pretends it's a rocket so to have an actual rocket he'll be very excited next is something that aria chose him i let the girls pick one thing each they wanted to get him and aria chose him this um i can't remember what they're called uh what does it say on there it doesn't say it's hasbro ugly dolls so it's a, oh, it's telling you how to wash up in the back here. It's an ugly doll. It is super, super soft. Um, and it's just really, really cute. So she chose him this. Again, we went to the entertainer in Norwich and they had a massive sale and we were there. Um, so I got this, I think this was like four pounds. Um, and it was like meant to be loads more. Um, so we got that. And then the thing that Mika chose him um, was a shark puzzle. She got this a little while ago. I think this is just going to be too easy for him now because he likes, he does them with lots of pieces now. Um, but he does love Baby Shark. So he will still be very excited. This was £7.50 instead of £15. Um, and it's just a really nice chunky, like a board puzzle. So he loves puzzles. He's got so many. Um, 
it's just a bit of a nightmare trying to keep all the pieces together um, because he, as I said, he picks things up and pretends they're rockets so he'll pick up a puzzle bit and then he'll do the puzzle and then he'll chuck them all around and then be aeroplanes with them and then do the puzzle again. Uh, so yeah, uh, next I got him this, it's a Mega Blocks hat. Again, this was on sale at the Smiths um, and you got a little hammer and you get um, some blocks and then a little hat and I just thought it was super cute. Um, my mum got him, well she didn't get it for him, she bought it for the girls years ago, like her second hand Mega Blocks table and she brought it around recently so that's in his bedroom and um, this will just add a few extra blocks to that and it's just really cute. Next I got him some, this was the first thing I bought him, I got him some Dougie books, these are little bedtime library books. Um, it's a little set, there's five in each, no four in each, and I just thought they were super super cute. He is obsessed with Hey Dougie, his birthday cakes are going to be Dougie cakes. He just loves it, so these are really nice and he will love to have these. He loves books so much, we will literally sit and we will he'll just keep bringing me books we got to the point where we, they were all on a shelf up high and it was just continuous more book more book more book more book so we put them down where he could reach them and then he can bring us his books as he wants us to read them to him so he'll love those next we got him a baby um he plays with the girls dolls quite a lot they're bigger um they're kind of like much bigger dolls and because he is still only quite small um it's a bit difficult for him and this one was perfect this was at smith's and it's just a really cute you can kind of see it's a little a little dolly um and he's got a buggy in the garden that is one of the girls old buggies that he has stolen and i'm sure he will put her in that or him in it i think it's a girl um it doesn't say but yeah he'll love that his little baby um, I got him this. This was in um, The Entertainer and this was £3 in their sale. It is a remote controlled tipper truck. So it's a super cute little truck but it's got really easy remote controls. Um, I think it's just like two buttons so like backwards and forwards and go. And yeah, this is also, Daddy will like this as well, my other half. Um, but yeah, for three quid I thought that was brilliant. And um, yeah, he's got the girls have got a really big monster truck, and but that's just too big for him to use. And I just thought this was a nice little one that he can play with. Um, the headlights light up. He'll love that. Next, we've got him another book, and it's called Never Touch a Shark, and it's just like a nice board book. Um, he will occasionally sit for like longer story books, but he is still he prefers like the littler board books that you can do really quickly. So this one's Never Touch a Shark, and it's got like they're sort of tactile like bits that you can touch which is nice and um, this was from smith's and he, yeah he just loves anything like this where there's a little story with it and and then things he can touch and he likes to like remember them and he'll um like lift up flat books as well that just absolutely loves them and then the last thing we bought him is a bin lorry because all of my children i don't know if this is normal all three of my kids are obsessed with bin lorries and bin people he absolutely loved them um we're very lucky where we've lived um all the houses we've had our um bin collectors have just been absolutely amazing like they'll wave at the kids they'll honk the horn for them and we like we always leave out christmas cards and christmas presents for them and we always say please and thank you when they do things and i think they just appreciate it and the kids just love it and like he gets so excited every time the bins come and he's got like four bin lorries already that were the girls um but all the batteries have like long been um gone and then they've just left them in the garden and played with them over the last sort of six seven years and so i wanted to get him one that works this is a little and he is just gonna love that it's just his own little bin lorry um the back lifts up so he can put stuff in and out of it um yeah and that's what we got him that's his presents um the girls chose him a card a paw patrol card um me and ben always get them um like a moon pig one with all the photos on the front every year for their birthdays and um, ben is in charge of that i send him photos that i like he does it and then he writes something in the middle and it always makes me cry guaranteed every single birthday there is a picture of me hugging the child in question sobbing my heart out after reading the card um yeah that is what we got foxy for his birthday 
Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.